right, so today we're going to be placing a compressor on this pool heater. So this video is going to be about some tips, some practices I usually do, and uh, hopefully you all can learn something. So let's get started. All right, so we got the pool heater all opened up here. Uh, before we get started on any kind of uh, work, especially with large parts like this, we want to reconfirm the diagnosis. So the one here was a shorter compressor. I went ahead and pulled off the wires to the compressor so we isolate the compressor as much as possible. And then we got the uh, meter pulled out here, the ohm setting. Uh, so we're gonna get started. First, we're gonna get our lead to our meter, go to one terminal, then get our other, put it to the copper, which is also ground. See it ringing out there. We got a path, which is a no good. All right, that's pretty Alrighty, good next up is going to be recovery. Got everything set up here. Got my Schrader cores removed for a nice quick, quick recovery there. Got my scale underneath the tank. Scale is good to do on a recovery, just so you know how much refrigerant you're taking out. Uh, that sort of alerts you if there's any other issues that you could have, maybe a leak in the system if you only pull out a small amount of refrigerant. So, good habit to have. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on, get it pumped out. All right, the recovery complete. We're going to be replacing the line dryer today, as well as the compressor. We got that all sanded. Getting ready to cut. We try to cut as close to the compressor as we can to reuse as much of this copper. Um, I really am against using any kind of fittings or braze joints whenever I'm replacing something, just because uh, less leak spots the better. So we'll get that cut off and uh, get this out of here. All right, so we got this cut out here new line draw right there one thing i did forget to put in the video uh, whenever we come to a shorter compressor we all, always do a an acid test on the refrigerant to uh make sure we can reuse it so i use this looks like we're pretty good it'll turn a, a shade of pink whenever there's acid detected so we're all set to go there we're ready to pull out this compressor and if you've ever worked on the compressor you know how heavy it is Luckily, I got myself a uh, handsome helper here. If you're alone, you're probably gonna want some of those products out there to help you lift it out. There's that ladder lift that looks pretty nifty. I personally don't have one because I'm just so dang strong. But um, we'll go ahead and pull this one out and pop the new one in. My compressor sort of covered in some wet rag so that as much heat transfer as possible. If it gets too hot and the paint starts to flake off and that can turn to rust and blah de blah de blah. So we're gonna try to prevent that. But uh, we're we're all set to go. So I'm gonna turn on my nitrogen, get that flowing, and uh, raise her up. Uh, under pressure right now. I'm gonna go around with a mirror and some bubbles and uh, bubble test all of our joints just to uh, confirm there's no visual leaks that we can see here. Alrighty, so we're coming up to the end of our pressure test here. We tested with bubbles. Uh, past that got it on pressure for about 24 minutes at 258 psi we lost about 0.1 which is pretty good in my books so we're gonna get started on the evacuation yeah, so right. we got our vacuum pump hooked up here got our cool removers back on got another blue vac micron gauge there so i got it closed off right now i actually have a secondary micron gauge on my pump so we're gonna turn on the pump um you know Make sure we got tight hoses. So we'll go with that first. All right, I'm done nicely. So now we're gonna go ahead over here and uh, open up our valves. 
See how long this takes to drop here. All right, update time. We've had the vacuum on for about 20 minutes now. We got the micron gauge on the pump at 152. We got the micron gauge at the system at 321. I say we're good to close off the valves, do our decay test. We'll do that for about 15 minutes, see where we stand. And then we're ready to put some uh, new refrigerant in. The decay test for about 15 minutes now. We're holding at about 491. I think we're good to go. Let's put some new refrigerant in there and uh, start this bad boy up. All right, got the refrigerant tank hooked up. I bled the refrigerant all the way to the point of the actual core remover, um, just so we're not allowing any air to enter the system. Uh, so we're about ready to go here. So I'm gonna put about a pound in before I put the cores back in. I'm gonna try not to damage my micron gauge there by putting too much pressure on it. So let's go ahead and add about a pound. So we're gonna crack this a little bit. Come back over here. The data tag itself calls for four pounds of refrigerant. So we'll put the first pound in, put the cores back in, and then put the rest after that. Turn this off here. And put our cores back in. All right, we're all closed up here. Quick overview and everything we did. Got the new compressor installed. We got the new line dryer installed. We got a new compressor capacitor installed and new refrigerant. Uh, everything went according to plan, no hiccups.